Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Friday afternoon, and here are today's notices. Uh, first of all, advance warning for Monday. Everyone involved in the carol service, that's all three choirs. There is a carol service rehearsal from 1.30 to 3.45 on Monday, all must attend. Spanish trip hoodies, please check emails, respond using the Google form. I think I mentioned that one once or twice already this week. Um, but please do do that. Right, next week is trials. This is likely to cause some confusion and some disruption on Monday morning, so I want to explain very clearly where everybody should go and when. Lower sixth, on Monday morning, you go to tutor time. Then at nine o'clock, if you're going to an exam, you go to the sports hall. If you're not going to an exam at nine o'clock, you go to the humanities corridor rooms. Humanities one, two, and three will be available for you to study in for all day Monday, Tuesday. So you either blow a sick there in an exam in the sports hall, or you're in the humanities corridor in humanities one, two, and three. Year 11, you head down to science for your normal timetable taking place in science rooms with your normal teachers. There will be a timetable on the door to the canteen and on the science doors telling you which room to go to. I'll also email that to you as soon as I've got it done this afternoon. You have your normal lessons in the normal order, but in science labs. Year 10, you guys on Monday morning start with a physics exam at 9 o'clock. That means... You are going to go to form time as normal, but then at 10 to 9, you are all going to meet me in the ground floor common room in Milton Fawcett. I'm going to tell you where to go to do your exam. I'll send you off at about 9 o'clock. You'll go and do your exam. Then later in the morning, you will have independent study time. If you are in year 10 and you are a boy, you will do your independent study in the second floor common room in Brunel Herschel. If you are in year 10 and you're a girl, you'll do your independent study in the second floor common room of Milton Fawcett. Makes sense? You will then, before every single exam 10 minutes before everybody doing that exam is going to meet me in the ground floor common room of Milton Fawcett and I'll tell you where to go to do your exam so there's kind of a cycle of independent study upstairs in those common rooms boys in one girls in the other downstairs 10 minutes before the start time of the exam I tell you where to go you go and do your exam then you go back upstairs to study I think that all makes sense year seven and year eight you will do all of your trials and independent study on the ground floor of the Brunel Herschel building in the English corridor and if you look in that corridor now you will see there are lists of names on the doors those are the names of the people who are going to be in that room so you can go and look this afternoon or Monday morning see which door has your name on um, you do your both your study and your trials in those rooms but year seven and eight you have games as normal and that means on Monday morning, you start with double games. So that's like a normal Monday morning, and then your trials timetable kicks in after that. If you're in year nine, you're going to start Monday morning with 45 minutes of independent study before your science trial. Year nines, you're going to do all your trials in the maths corridor. Likewise, your names are on the door. You're going to be sat with the rest of your science class. Names are on the door of the room that you will be in. That's where you go, and the teacher supervising you will tell you where to sit. I think that just about covers it. Just a reminder to all students that independent study time during trials week means exactly that. It means you work in silence please um, you may have headphones on if they're not causing a distraction to you or others although if they are causing a distraction the person supervising you will tell you to get rid of them um, but you should be studying and that means you should have a pen in your hand actually doing something not just staring blankly at your notes um, good luck I know this is stressful but I also know that you will all do really really well so long as you've worked hard and revised finally we had some fantastic meetings of our sixth form committees yesterday and the sixth form community committee is already really kicking into gear and they are organizing a say thanks to a person that has made a difference to your life this year by giving them a candy cane so what you get to do right there's these posters going out to form tutors you pick a person, you buy a candy cane card, you're going to be visited by the community elves during form time on Monday to Wednesday of next week, you bring in a pound, they're going to give you a card, you can fill in your card to say thank you to somebody, and then later in the week, the elves will deliver your card with a candy cane, um, Oh, no, no, you post, sorry, you post your completed candy cane card in the community candy cane post box, which is in reception. So you buy the card from the elves, that's a pound. You post the card in this post box, which is going to be in reception. Look, it's very Christmassy Christmas post box. Somebody's had too much time on their hands today, I would suggest. Um, that's going to be a main reception. You post it in there. Then the elves are going to... Uh, tie your card to a candy cane and deliver it to the person of your choosing at the end of the week. Isn't that festive? There is more to come from sixth form committees, but I think that's a really impressive start from community committee. Thank you very much indeed. That's it from me today. Have a great weekend. Do lots and lots and lots of revision into house sports tomorrow. See you there. I have to remain impartial, obviously, so I can't support a house, but really looking forward to it. It's always a great event. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.